mysterious menace who's been lurking in the shadows all season long has finally been revealed, and it's none other than Sutek the Destroyer. Now, whether Sudek is a name that rings a bell depends on how deep your Doctor Who knowledge goes. For those not as familiar, let's dive into why this Big Bad's return is such a big deal. Sudek's first and only televised appearance before now was in the 1975 serial Pyramids of Mars during Tom Baker's run as the fourth Doctor. It's an iconic story where the Doctor and Sarah Jane Smith face off against mummies, robots, and cultists, all controlled by Sudek. This ancient alien from the Osran race was imprisoned in a pyramid by his brother Horus. The doctor knew of him from before, and his mere presence struck fear into the usually unflappable fourth doctor. It was not the most culturally sensitive depiction, and allowed Doctor Who to get in mummies without getting in actual mummies, but Sudek's power was legendary. Even in his weakened state, he could control minds, levitate objects, and inflict psychic torture. But what makes his return in The Legend of Ruby Sunday truly terrifying is the implication that his full powers have been restored. This episode was packed with some great standalone moments as the Doctor and Ruby join forces with Unit at their headquarters. Familiar faces like Kate Lethbridge-Stewart, Rose Noble, and upgraded V-Links and Colonel Ibrahim made appearances. And let's not forget the new additions, Harriet, the head of Unit's archive, and child genius Morris Gibbons as the scientific advisor. The doctor was hoping Unit could help investigate two women, Susan Twist, playing Susan Triad, and a genius with a mysterious connection to the TARDIS, and Ruby's birth mother, whose past remains shrouded in mystery, and has changed at least once. In a tense scene involving Unit's time window, we saw Ruby's past and the appearance of a swirling, growling cloud of black dust, a terrifying presence that Morris described as hot cold, radioactive, and dead all at the same time. This cloud, it turns out, is intimately connected to Sudek. Gemma Redgrave is brilliant as Kate. Her micro-expressions capture who the doctor is in a matter of seconds. The sinister voice that interrupts Susan Triad's speech, the transformation of the black cloud into a dog-like creature with red eyes, and Harriet's unsettling monologue all lead to the revelation that Susan Triad technology is short for Sutek. Sutek. Yes, Gabriel Wolf reprised his role, bringing a chilling continuity to the character. Despite his seemingly infinite patience, after all he is the one who waits Sudek is deeply paranoid. He believes all life will eventually try to overthrow him, and therefore he has spent centuries slaughtering life across the universe, earning a reputation for terror and brutality. That said, Sudek doesn't see this as mere self-defense. He genuinely believes he brings the gift of death to lesser beings viewing hope and free will as traps and death as the only certainty. It is very simple for him, he alone deserves to live, and all other life must be eradicated. Death, for death's sake. This episode hints at a fully unleashed Sutek. The fourth doctor once suggested that a fully powered Sutek would be unstoppable, even for the Time Lords. So, you can understand why the fifteenth doctor was paralyzed with fear upon his reveal. In the upcoming finale, Empire of Death, we expect some answers. What's up with the mysterious appearances of Susan Triad? How does Ruby's birth mother fit into all this? And most crucially, does Sudak have a plan beyond sheer destruction? Unlikely why did Carla identify him as the Beast? Does she know of the Satan Pit? Also, who is Mrs. Flood? Also, also what relationship does the superpower alien have with gods from outside the space-time? Is Trickster coming too? We've seen Sudek manipulate, possess, and wreak havoc before. This time, with his powers potentially at full capacity, the stakes couldn't be higher. How will the 15th Doctor confront this ancient and omnipotent foe? And can he prevent the apocalyptic future that Sudek envisions? We already have the episode synopsis. The Doctor has lost, his ageless enemy reigns supreme, and a shadow is falling over creation. Nothing can stop the devastation, except, perhaps, one woman. Which woman are we talking about? Ruby? Her birth mother? The doctor's daughter or granddaughter? Rose? Kate? Mel? Mrs. Flood? One thing's for sure the doctor is in for one of his toughest battles yet. I am expecting an epic conclusion in the season finale. What do you think will happen in the finale? Let us know in the comments below. And. Like, share, high five, subscribe, let our channel thrive.